All right, so today I'm playing Horse Doctor. Uh, got her open up this this old stallion and uh, get him repaired. So there's quite a bit that's going on with it. Sometimes as a welder, you're going to be asked to do stuff like this. Hey, can you fix this? Hey, I got this. It needs the, this little weld done. And um, the sweet old lady needed uh, this fixed. So I'm going to kind of put some internal structure. You can't quite see it, but they, uh, they made an internal frame of this horse and then they skinned it with these pieces of sh sheet metal or scrap metal or whatever. And um, so a lot of the tacks that they put on the external skeleton with the sheet metal have popped causing this thing to be very flimsy uh, to come apart. The back legs have collapsed, the front legs are separated, ears are falling off, mane's falling off. So uh, I'm here to try and doctor it back up. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to put a new basically back spine in. And once I get that spine put in, um, <clears throat> I am going to close it up. Well, before I close it up, I'm going to make a center chest uh, spike and two rear spikes. It'll come probably somewhere in this area um, that will stake into the ground. It'll help kind of sit on the ground with the feet still and the back tail but it'll be a piece of 3 8 solid bar uh, that should help kind of uh, take the support and there you have it. So um, I'm just gonna grab a cutoff wheel and, a, and a, a piece of solid bar and I'm just gonna try and get it in there and reinforce what I can. Um, I've got some quarter inch bar as well. It'll probably use the doctor up, but hopefully it'll only take me a couple hours and with material and labor and all that stuff, it maybe be a hundred bucks or less for this nice old lady. But uh, sometimes you just take one for the team and live to ride another day. <laughs>
uh, we're done. Finally, the veterinarian mastic is done. Uh, this was a pain. You may have noticed that it was really hard for me to get an arc because the horse is so corroded and has a thick layer of oxide on it, rust, that it doesn't conduct electricity. And so it was using the file, using a wire wheel, uh, kind of using the wire from the gun itself to kind of scratch it as I was pulling the trigger to, to get it to light up. What we're going to do is we're just going to walk around real quick and uh, show you what we did. Uh, we definitely have... Okay, so we've got lots of repairs. Obviously, nothing super awesome, but remember the, the front legs were disconnected. Okay. Oh, lots of spider boogers in there. That's all right. It's going to get rusted over again. Foot's good. This good. We got a nice center support chest coming down, and it went all the way up. It's at the head. And there's a little supporting bar that I put in there that'll get rusted over, but that's holding that bar up. And then I've got two big bars coming inside the legs up into the groin. And that's going into a new bar that I put along the back. And some little stoppers for the feet. So you'll push that into the ground. Voila, the horse should never tip over again. Now there wasn't, you know, it's not like I was trying to, you can already tell, like the previous stuff is pretty, oh uh, yeah. I don't even know what they would have done it with. To be honest, I, uh, I probably would have done something different if I made this, but maybe even welded more of these edges, but it looks like this person didn't know what they were doing. I mean, yeah. I mean, none of that looks like it's really welded. So I'm probably gonna have to actually come back in and I'll touch that up. But uh, I've been at this for a couple hours and um, I think that it's good enough. I I'm not gonna get much money out of it. Maybe I don't deserve it because of all my popcorn welds on something that doesn't conduct electricity. But uh, yeah, anywho, there you go. I think we're done.